Hi, this is Benjamin Bernstein with AstroShaman.com. I'm doing my video for the uh, March 1 newsletter about a week late, but hey, better late than never. So this is the first time I'm doing an on-location recording. I'm on location in my own backyard <laughs> because there's something I wanted to show you back here that relates to my topic. So um, I want to talk about elementals. And I've worked for years with, you know, divine beings and typically they're beings of higher vibrations and subtle realms and angels and archangels and, and such and ascended masters and things like that. But recently um, it was brought to my attention by a wonderful shaman I respect who said that it's good to be involved with the more earthly uh, beings as well. Now I have worked with Apus, which are mountain spirits to some degree, but um, he suggested, why don't you get acquainted with the elementals right in your own yard? So uh, I will guess I'll pan to my yard while I'm saying a little bit more about this. So this is our backyard here in Asheville, North Carolina. And we've got lots of nature spirits here. And of course, you're not probably seeing them on the camera, but, um, and this is something I'll be showing you a little more of in a minute. But basically, um, when we, I mean, when we first, um, we're looking at this property to rent it. We asked permission before we moved in of the spirits of the land and the spirit of the house. And they said, yeah, fine, we'd love to have you live here. So they, they gave us a thumbs up energetically. But um, since we do ceremonial work here and we set protective boundaries, the shaman suggested it'd be good to have some protective boundaries as well. I'll just tell you who he is. His name is Jeff Firewalker Schmidt and he's a, an awesome shaman here in the Asheville area. And he doesn't call himself that, but that's what I call him. You know, he works with the energetic realms as, as a shaman would be expected to. I'm not sure what he does call himself. He says, I don't like to use the word shaman to describe myself. It's a very strong humility thing for him. But um, getting away from nomenclature, um, the point is he said, cultivate those, those nature spirits. It'll be a lovely relationship and they also are good at protection. And of course, when you do ceremonial stuff, then it's nice to have a, a protective field around you. So we came out here and uh, we built a little altar and I'll, I'll turn the camera back to that so you can hopefully see that. Now I can't see what you're seeing here so I'm just praying that it's in the shot like it should be. Um, but these two stones were gifted to us from our friend Aaron who found them on a, a mountain called Bowcatcher or just to the side of it which is a sacred mountain where we, well, some shamanic folks have built what's called an apacheta, a place of, you know, giving you know, energy to the mountain and honoring it and, you know, developing a relationship with it. So this is not an apachet, it's just a couple of stones with some extra stuff. But this is our communication point with the spirits of our land. So we come out, as you can see, we've put stones and flowers and some, they love alcohol, so we have some wine there or whatever that is. <laughs> and uh, so basically this is us showing them, hey, we, we respect you, we think you're important. And I come out here, and, or Makisla does, or I do, and we do things like we offer it Florida water or tobacco, sprinkle a little tobacco. We'll raise Singa here, um, which I won't get into the mechanics of that. But basically, we do things. We offer energy or, or actual physical stuff to the stones with the understanding that we're offering it to all the beings here. And when we first became aware uh, energetically of the nature spirits here, it surprised us because they're like little kids. They're like, uh, it was like this jumping up, oh, yay, 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 they're paying attention to us, yay. And God knows how long it's been since the spirits of this property had a person actually consciously paying attention to them. So uh, they're like little kids and it's delightful to, to hang out with them. And, uh, and I guess, you know, I'm not just trying to tell you an amusing anecdote, there's also things you can do if you want. So wherever you live, whether you own the property or rent it or whatever, there's, there's spirits of the land. I mean, everything has a spirit. So if you, and the formality of it is not important, you don't have to have stones like we have or specific things, but just the intention of I acknowledge that the spirits of the land are real and I offer you honor and reverence and you can either just do that and offer, or in our case, since we have developed a shamanic relationship with the spirits, we've asked them for something. We say, we want your protection when we do our ceremonial work and we want your protection overall. And they're happy to do that. And in sacred reciprocity, it's a beautiful thing. So um, even if you just 
you know, you don't have to have a central stone like we do, although it's, it's helpful to have a focusing point. Um, you can just go out and, you know, just communicate broadly with the nature spirits. So the way you do it is way up for grabs, and you should do it in the style that works for you. But um, if you live someplace, then having a, a relationship with the spirit of the land can be super helpful. Also, the spirit of the house, this is the back of our house, hopefully that you're seeing more or less the back of the house here. Um, this, the, the house itself also has a spirit, and we've developed a working relationship with that as well. So I know that uh, if you're not uh, versed in shamanic ways, this may sound insane, but you know, Makisla and I both feel the energy of this and we, uh, it's just part of our lifestyle. So uh, a little more informal video today for you. So I hope that this has um, generated some interesting thought for you, or uh, I know some of you watching this already have a relationship with your land spirits and your nature spirits. So I just wanted to uh, put that out as our latest little video. and. If, uh, as always, if you're interested in doing any work with me, you can go to astroshaman.com where you can read about my astrology and shamanic healing and life coaching and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure sharing this with you. Bye-bye.